How's it going everyone? Sean here from Raw Technique Studios. I'm going to be going over censoring a song. I'm using a song by Half Gold 26 and the song is called Gone. So what we're going to do is just go through the whole process of censoring a song, all the different techniques, uh, step by step. So the first thing I do before going in and chopping out all the curse words and everything like that, I go up, make a copy. So I'm going to go save copy in and then I'm just gonna press OK and I'm simply gonna make this one called censored All right. so I'm gonna close this and I'm going to open up the censored version alright so the reason for doing that is to if I ever need to go back to the original session and make like a small tweak, then I don't have to go in and uncensor the song and then make that tweak. I just have one version that is uncensored and one version that's censored. So two separate sessions. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is jump into one of the verses and just start uh, listening to it, see what I could do to make it sound decent even though we're taking words out. Want, want, want this shit way too bad. Way too bad. So it starts right there. I'm just going to select this whole thing and then Command E will chop it and then Command M will mute it. Right. So that one, it doesn't sound bad. It sounds okay because there's a delay on the track which uh, kind of blends it in and makes it not sound like an empty space. You could do that or go up to Audio Suite, go to Pitch Shift and come down to Verify and then go ahead and I keep it exactly as is, just hit render. Want this shit way too bad. Right. So that's a cool sound. Um, there's also delaying it, so I could go ahead and put a delay on it to do it right there, but I think this one sounds good like this, and I'm gonna leave it like that and then continue on to the next part. Want, want, want this shit way too bad. So right here, what I'm going to do is mute it, and then I'm going to see if I could delay this to come in here at a louder, I'm not going to just stick with the original delay, I'm going to go ahead and add in a new one, so I'm going uh, shift command N is the shortcut for a new track, and then I'm going to go with a stereo aux input. I'm going to solo save this. So I'm holding command and clicking the solo button. And then on the input, I'm going to choose an empty bus. So let's say 11 and 12. This track right here where I want to add it, I'm going to bus out to 11 and 12. I'm going to turn it up to about 5 and then hit this mute button here and get out of that. On the aux track that I created, I need to put a delay on it. So I'm going to throw on H delay. You could use whatever delay you want, but I like H delay. And I'm going to uh, load up one of my settings. And I need to do a fast one. Eighth note might be OK. I might have to do a 16th note. It just depends. So no feedback, because I only want this one word to be repeated. I don't want it to be copied over and over. I'm going to take Lo-Fi off, because I want it to sound pretty similar. And then. Let's go ahead and put it on there. Also, make sure you're in your uh, the correct BPM of the song. If you don't already have the song set up to the the grid on the with the BPM, then you could do Command One on the number pad to bring up a transport window, or you could just go up to here, Window Transport, and you need to find out the tempo. So this tempo is 71.5, and to do this, you just go ahead and listen to the song. So what I like to do is solo out the beat press play and uh, find a drum section in the song so all this has drums I would just press play and then click on this so it's uh, it turns green like that and you're gonna just tap the letter T on your keyboard in time with the song and that will uh, it'll be tempo tapping and it'll lock in once you hit enter so let me go ahead and do that so I'm gonna highlight it press play and then start tempo tapping Alright, so it came out to 72. Now, 
after having already done this, I know it's actually 71.5. So if you have a beat that has a weird tempo like that, then you might have to make some tweaks after the fact. So 71.5. Uh, tempo tapping will not give you a 0.2 or a 0.5 or anything like that. All it's going to be giving you is what's highlighted right here. All right, so that's how you get your BPM. Once that's set up, then you could go ahead and do your delays and everything like that. So we're back over here. We have our delay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this little tiny arrow right here. Click that. And then under where it says volume, that's the default. I'm going to switch it over to my bus 11 and 12. And I'm going to go to mutes. And this is going to make it to where I could see my automation underneath the track here instead of having to switch back and forth on the track itself. All right, so it's already muted. What I want to do is go ahead and I'm holding command and clicking. If you don't have the hand tool like that, it's because you don't have all three selected at once. To do it, say I just want one, I could select like this. Or you could hit the top and it'll select all three at once. That makes it to where doing different things will change what you're seeing. So I'm going to hold command again, select, drag it up, and get this whole section right here to not be muted. So let's give that a listen. So it's extremely fast. So we have to do 16th note. Let's see if it even sounds good. Still kill. Still kill. Yeah, it's such a short word that I don't really like how that sounds, so I'm actually not going to use it on this section. We might use it on a different one, but not on this one. So let me put that back in there, and let's try going to a different one. Let's see about maybe a reverse effect. So let me open up reverse, render that, see what that sounds like. Take still kill. This is sad. This is sad. Yeah. Don't really like that one either, so I'm either going to do verify on it or I'm going to mute it. Yeah, so I think that one's okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of a fade right there, just so it's not clicking. Alright, so I like that one the best, so I'm just gonna go with verify on that one, and we'll save that delay for another one. Boy, go round so tight, don't stop. Get that shit, don't punch that clock. Fuck your shit, I take your shit, I take your shit. Fuck. Right. So right there. Let's try just muting it first. Shit, don't punch that clock. Punch your shit, I take your shit, I take your shit, I take your shit. That shit, don't punch that clock. Punch your shit, I take your spot. I take your spot. Shit, I take your shit, I take your shit, I take shit, shit. If ever there's a time when you're not sure exactly where the curse word is you can listen to everything in slow motion by go ahead and just like select wherever you want to start hold down the shift uh, button on your keyboard and then press play so it does detune it because it's slower so it might be a little hard to hear it on some vocals but that's a way to listen to it in a slow motion and this one I'm gonna do the verify as well so I always choose just whatever I think fits best for that specific part so I'm gonna try uh, the delay right here on the clock so let me go here I need to put the bus 11 and 12 let me just rename it so we know. And then I'm going to bring it up to 5, mute it, close this, hit this little arrow, change the volume over to the mute, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it in right here. This time I need to go back to the delay and change this to an eighth note because 16th will be too fast. I think that sounds good. Alright, so let's move on to the hook because the hook has a lot of uh, cursing in it. So 
So yeah. because the yeah. final word is yeah. the curse word, yeah. then it makes it a little bit easier because we could either mute it out and it'll probably just sound uh, fine like that. So let's find the word. I'm alone. I don't want to chop off the word before, so I want to find exactly where it is. I'm alone. I'm alone. Okay, so it's right there. And let's try just muting it. So that sounds fine, but what I want to do is make sure, because I'm chopping in the middle of two words being put together, add a little fade to the end of each one so it doesn't click. Uh, Ad libs as well. Need to make sure that those are censored. So this sounds a little bit dry on the ad lib. So what I'm going to do is uh, add the delay that we were using earlier. So I'm going to go bus 11 and 12, which is we renamed to delay. Put it at 5, mute it. Same thing as before. Put that on the whole thing. Same thing. So let's put that delay right here as well. That's censoring the hook. Now, I have other hooks in the song as well. This one is a little bit longer. It looks like it's possibly double. But what I could do is copy and paste so I don't have to redo that to every single hook since all the hooks are the same. So what I'm going to do is go over to grid mode. And we are already linked up on the beat because we did that whole transport window, tapping to the grid, and getting that locked in. What we're going to do is switch over. I'm going to look at the bar and I'm going to grab this here and let's see. Let me see how many. Looks like it's just two measures worth. So I'm going to grab this. Command E, chop that up. I'm going to hold Option and drag it over and just paste it right here. So now when I press play, that's how it is it's easy to just uh, copy and paste the hook over if it's the same thing in every hook so I'm gonna do the same thing again just grab this whole section and I'm going to hold option grab it slide it over paste it right there and it's locked in in the same spot All right, so there's a secondary part right here. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and switch back over to slip mode and chop off the ends and just do the same thing we were doing earlier. So this one, because the delays were set up to hit the end of the words like that, I do need to move my delays. So I'm going to go over here and switch over to my delay mutes and move this over so I get more of the of the vocals.
and I'm going to do this to each one and then I'm going to just copy it down and it'll copy the um, automation onto each one. You could do a sped up delay if you want just to fit it in there a little bit better. So say I wanted a uh, faster delay, I could go to that bus which is bus 4 which is right here and I could put it to where instead of doing half notes I'm doing quarter notes. So on that part, I actually like the quarter notes, but I am using this on a different section as well. So what I could do is copy this over like that. So now I have two of them. The new one, I'm going to make quarter notes. And the, other, the old one, I'm going to keep at half notes. And then what I'm going to do is automate uh, the master bypass on each one. So the old one, let me go up here to the auto, master bypass, add it, OK. And what I want to do is go here, mod delay 3, master bypass. And I just want it off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit bypass. And I'm going to have it off for this section and then I'm going to turn it back on for the other section which is up here and then same thing for the new delay master bypass add and then I'm going to do the opposite so mod delay 3 master bypass I want it on for this section and then off for the other so I'm going to turn it off right there so it'll flip flop so you see that it's switched. It, one's master bypass and then flip to the other one being master bypass. So you could do that or you could create a whole new aux and just switch between them like that. Alright, and then I'm putting it in there. And I need to censor this part, but because it's a copy of this section, I could go ahead and copy it over. So I'm just going to go to grid mode, select this whole section, hold option, drag it over, and that's lined up right there. <laughs> And then one last section of the song is the first verse. So let me just give that a listen. Let's see how it sounds just muted. And make sure I get the ad lib as well. I think it sounds okay just being muted here because it's right where a snare drum hits. So it kind of fits as if the snare drum is covering up the curse word as well. So because this is at the end of a section, I do like the idea of doing the verify to slow it down. I'll just mute the ad lib. And you hear that little click, so I need to put a little fade on it to make sure there's no click. This one, I'm going to do, I'm not going to mute it because it's kind of the main part of the very last section of the verse. So I'll do the slow down effect here, see if it works. When it's a longer section that you're slowing down, sometimes it doesn't uh, censor it enough. So you kind of hear the word still, so I could run it through this a couple times. The ad lib as well. Alright, so that's everything on the censoring of this entire song. So all the hooks and all of the verses and everything like that. And that's how I go about making a censored version for a client. 
All right, so if you guys are interested in learning to mix to sound like Drake, I have a course that you guys could sign up to get the link to, and it's down below in the description. Just go ahead and click on that, and I will send that over to you right away after you sign up. So that's some hands-on training there. There's some bonus um, audio that you could download and follow along step by step. So if you want some hands-on mixing training, go ahead and sign up below and I'll get that sent over to you. All right, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.